Hello everyone, today I will be doing a quick guide as to how to get the sliced advanced class in Hollow Abyss. And I'll start off by showing you where to get the sword trainer, and then I will show you the advanced trainer location. And at the end I will do a, or well, kind of a little bit of a showcase, but using the Trello. Um, but yeah, hopefully you all enjoy. And I'll see you at the end. Alright, by the way, all you need to do to get your second sword is just purchasing another sword. And if you're going fist, super, uh, fist advanced class with a sword advanced class, all you have to do is buy your two swords and then buy your gauntlets. Alright, now we're just going to take a quick look at the Trello. You got your moves. Deals moderate damage. I don't know about this sword uh, move. It's kind of weird. I guess you can maybe M1 a couple times into that move. Maybe even combo extend because it, it doesn't ragdoll them or anything. So uh, roundabout. You got this move. It, it'll it's really good for catching up with people in the water. It's kind of easy for people to get away from it they'll just run away when you charge it up so it's kind of hard to judge whether you should use it or not it's a little bit tricky but good in the water i'd say for catching up with people heavy dash another good one for catching up with people in the water on land i'm not sure it does look like it goes really far though holy <coughs> the range uh the range you reach and the damage you deal depends on how much you charge it before releasing it okay so it's a charge i was wondering why um when i was in game it only went went like slightly forward but um 
you know, I guess you have to charge it. So both these moves are kind of easy to uh, see coming because they're both charge moves. You could either get hit out of it or, or they just run out of your range real quick. And then we have this move, which is a ragdoll move. The user makes a big jump, then slams. I wouldn't consider that a very big jump. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe you can charge it. I doubt it, but it looks pretty... This move looks pretty bad. And then dual wielding passive. I have a feeling you get this for the first skill, but I don't quote me on that one. Now we get swordsman abilities. There's no real um, active abilities, just passives. But they're all right here if you want to see them. Allows you to charge mana while dashing. Allows you to counter by blocking. <clears throat> if you guard break someone, you get an extra hit in. And you get speed boost with heavier armors. But yeah. Anyways, that's it. Hopefully you all enjoyed. And I'll see you all in the next one.